Hi, I'm Josh Tiffany once again, and I'm going to do a story written by Tucker Max in his book, I Hope They Serve Beer in Hell. It is taken from the chapter, Max Tucker Goes to a Hockey Game. It was Saturday night, and it was one of those Saturday nights where I definitely needed to stay home. It was an epic Thursday, an epic Friday, and I was shot. So I had my good friend Mark coming over. Mark shows up at my door at about 8 o'clock. He has with him a 30-pack Old English. We quickly down those, and thus begins my nice night in. However, during that time, Mark sees on the little television that they're having a local hockey game that's starting in just two hours, and he gets excited. He wants to go see him some local hockey. For me, I understand I'm already 15 beers to the wind, which is a slow start for a man like me. So I have three choices. One, I can do the responsible thing, stay at home, and be a good boy. Two, I can go out, try to not drink, have a nice easy night, or three, I can go out and continue to be Tucker Max. Now Mark had previously read my blog entries about my invention called the Camel Pack. The Camel Pack was a very simple invention of mine brought out at an old UT football game that was an old canteen half full of Everclear, the second half full of plain old green Gatorade. Whenever I unleash this little beast onto the world, amazing, amazing, amazing things happen to me. Now Mark really, really, really wanted to bring the camel pack and go to a hockey game. Finally I decided, since this being my nice, easy, slow night, we're going to do it. So, fill up the canteen, half full of Everclear, half full of Gatorade, already got the 15 beers each sloshed around in our stomach, and we make our way down to the sports arena. Our local hockey team sucks. There is absolutely nothing to see there. Don't even have to go to a scalper, there's no need. We walk right up, pay our five bucks each, go find our seats in a quarter full auditorium and start sipping on the Camel Pack. Now, for those of you who haven't ever drank grain alcohol before, the feeling is odd. It is unlike any other drunk you will experience. It is somehow removing yourself from your body so you are standing two feet Below, watching the imbecile you are quickly becoming. As we're getting drunker and drunker, we're starting to talk to the guys next to us, making all kinds of rude comments, looking around. Mark goes, there are no girls here. What kind of town is this where no girls go to a hockey game? And I'm basically already sloshed saying, what is this, the gay hockey night? Dude next to me kind of scoffs, gets up, walks away. Two old dudes in front of me start laughing their ass off, so we're having a good time. By the time the hockey game goes on, we're not really paying that much attention, we're already so drunk, watching other people, feeling that little line of drool start to drip out the side of your mouth that happens when you get that drunk. Right before the second period ends, this little man stands up in front of the quarter full section we're in and says, does anyone want to take a free shot to get a free ticket down on the ice? Immediately, I jump up, me, 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 me. Of course, the rest of the crowd, dead silent. No one wants to take on my drunken exuberance. So, man kind of looks hesitantly at me, waves me on down, brings me up to the queue behind the home team bench, and I'm waiting, and I'm looking, and suddenly genius strikes me. Man explains it very simply. All right, we got our team mascot, which was this really fuzzy dog looking kind of a thing. Really couldn't tell what it was by this point in time. Eyes were kind of crossed, couldn't really see straight. Object was take your stick, shoot your shot, and if you get it in the goal past the mascot, you get a free ticket to next week's game. I simply say, this place sucks. Why the hell would I want to come back? The man tells me I can't bring my beer onto the ice. <coughs> So my time finally comes. I'm on wobbly legs as I'm walking out there. I look around, immediately flip off the entire crowd as I'm up to take my shot, grab my stick, stare at that goalie, look at that puck, and suddenly I become a legend. I take my stick, chuck it at the dude in order to frighten him, kick the hockey puck into the goal, take a running head start on him, tackle him around the midsection, barrel him into the ring, and suddenly start taking body blows at him as I pull his hockey jersey up over his head, good old fashioned hockey style. And I'm wailing, and I'm laughing, and I hear this little voice inside this weird big dog head saying, what the fuck you doing, you asshole, get off me. 
This only makes me laugh so much harder. It is one of the odd side effects of drinking grain alcohol is you can laugh at Teletubbies are hilarious, let alone this big huge mascot letting loose this torrent of obscenities as I'm wailing into the machine. Suddenly, he takes me, he flips me over, he's on top of me, he's lost in the fight, I'm laughing hard, he's wailing on me with his big old dog fist and I'm laughing and I'm laughing and I'm laughing. Finally, security gets to the ice, manages to pull the mascot off me, I'm still rolling with laughter, tears streaming down my face. When I stand up, the goalie nearly loses his brain because I do my victory stance and the crowd goes nuts. It was awesome. They were on their feet clapping and cheering and I'm drunk and I'm waving and I got this big dog man trying to come at me again. As I'm led off the ice by security, I keep hearing words like assault, arrest. Finally, the stadium manager comes up to me. He's like, sir, that was entirely inappropriate. I stare at him, wipe that little bit of drunken drool from the side of my mouth. And I say, I stand by my decision. I am now a member of an elite club who has fought a professional mascot. You, sir, are not. Thank you very much.